Welcome to the WBGO studios. I'm Leslie Harrison. I'm your host of Come Sunday, and I am very delighted today to be here with Wayne Winborn, the executive director of the Institute of Jazz Studies at Rutgers University in the great city of Newark, New Jersey, also the home of uh, WBGO. And Wayne is here today because he and I are going to be going somewhere together. Very exciting. We are heading to South Africa uh, in uh, February, February 15th through the 27th on the Soul of South Africa tour. And Wayne, we did it together for the first time uh, last March and I'm looking forward to it to it again. Tell us a little bit about the, first, first of all, welcome. Tell us a little bit about the Institute of Jazz Studies and how you came about um, hosting these trips. This is your like, I don't know, what, 25th trip to South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> But um, thanks, Leslie, and welcome, everyone. And uh, thanks for doing this. It's a really exciting. Always great to talk with you. Yeah. But uh, particularly when we we're talking about this trip, yeah, last year was our first time. I, I had been several times before with uh, Rhonda Hamilton, mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful person. And we, we made a great team. And you and I make a great team. Was yes, really, it was quite fun. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun, but also a lot of substance, you know, because mm -hmm. um, touring South Africa with it, its deep, rich history, um, the history of activism, and the important role of music, particularly Black music, and particularly jazz, um, woven deeply into people's lives and into the activism there and into the future, and in, both as a, a, a celebratory element of meals and just regular interactions, but also more formally um, as an ex way of exploring and expressing deep humanity and history. Um, it's just great, you know, and then there's the tourist aspect that uh, right. I don't think you had been before. No, that was last March was my first time going to the motherland. And yeah. uh, so I, th I thought for a first time trip, that was like the perfect trip. The, the tour was perfect. It was the right mix of people, WBGO listeners and others. And uh, we had a, a quite a nice, uh, a nice a trip. What I love most about it was just the, ed the educational aspect of it, the music. Uh, you certainly are like a trove of, of information uh and so that lended you know it made it a little bit more um yeah it gave a little bit more historical background for for the political and the cultural aspects of, of the tour as well yeah and i imagine I, I you know we this thing we didn't talk about but i imagine that you as an artist too um because people certainly responded to you you got a chance to right a little bit you know um I cried you didn't, you know, you hadn't like prepared stuff and come with your no. own band. You just people knew who you were. We asked you to come up and perform. And and it was marvelous, uh, both for the I don't know if you talked to some of the I'm sure you did, though, some of the cats that played with you. I hung out with them a little later. At this oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did, too. <laughs> yeah. And they so they loved having you in the audience. Yeah. So as an artist, too, I think having the chance to at least put your toe in the water and interact with other artists and absorbing everything that you're hearing and eating and experiencing. And then that coming out, um, cause obviously, you know, the, the, everywhere we went, we're eating local cuisine and, and, and all of that, then having the chance to be expressed, uh, uh through your music, I, I would imagine for, for me as a listener and a fan of yours, mm -hmm. Uh, it, it was marvelous. It was it, yeah. it was really great to see, you know. Um, yeah, it was really it was like it was it was a, a great tour. We got some, some great food. And one of the b best parts of the tour for me, I mean, there were many, was the home cooked meal we had. We went to oh. the home of a, a beautiful uh, lady. I, I don't remember her name, but the food was amazing. Uh, the breaking the bread with with the other travelers was wonderful. The wine was fantastic. Oh and yeah, of course, the, you know, yeah. everyone got to buy some artwork uh, and. Just walking around Cape Town is just absolutely beautiful, and all all the stops along the way um, that we took. Uh, and not only do we go to Cape Town, we go to our first stop is we go to Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first. Well, both of them. I mean, it, there's so many things that you're talking about are, um, I think, just very special elements. Uh, I, before we talk about Johannesburg, you mentioned earlier WBGOs. You know, the obviously the folks who participate are. are uh, uh, cold, if you will, from primarily the audience of mm -hmm. WBGO. There really has been a special group. There's a lot of camaraderie. There are, I think they're going to be lifetime friendships. I, I think I told you there's one group from two or three, three years ago, four years ago. God, I can't remember now, 2019. <laughs> so many times. <laughs> Wait, it's 2018. Um, that group still get, that maybe 30 of them still get together. Right. Um, 
some of their in touch. They have an email chain and I occasionally I'm copied on it. So I'll see. I've been horrible about staying, uh, staying in touch. You're so busy, Wayne. <laughs> no, that's, my, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> but, but there's such a um, uh, uh, this is a special group. Uh, and each year, each they're different each year to year. But there are all of these magical connections that happen between and among people that that um, I think really make it special. If someone's looking for, you know, if you're a, a solo traveler or you have a friend or two and you're looking, uh, you won't just be with your your friends or with yourself. You are going to meet folks that you connect to. I promise you, you know. Um, and now, as you say, Cape Town, we, we, we spend time in Cape Town and Johannesburg, Johannesburg first. Um, and again, for the first time traveler to South Africa, I would say that it's so steeped in the history of South Africa. We're going to visit Mandela's home. Uh, we'll visit townships. You will get a real um, eyeful in terms of oh, yeah. understanding townships. It's not like you think. It's, right. I guess, I would say it's going to be both more and less. Um, they're huge areas and they range from, oh, my goodness, this is what a township is to, oh, this is what I thought yeah. a township was you know but mm -hmm. also the richness of people's lives despite um what their economic circumstance may be um johannesburg is a major international city um and what you'll experience there the accommodations are always great as oh you yes <laughs> we're able to get together and then cape town for me i don't know if you experienced this the first time i went i, I used to tell people i still tell people i was unprepared for how beautiful cape town is um, I was I was also pictures can't capture that and I, I it was breathtaking just from the airport to our hotel yeah. I was just like like tears came to my eyes the beauty yeah. of a tabletop mountain and oh, yeah. and then there's the ocean it's it, and the colors and oh it's just absolutely beautiful and mm -hmm. you know you said something about the camaraderie I met some people on that trip quite a few who are now friends of mine you know that you know we've gone out for dinner they've come to some shows of mine mm -hmm. and uh, it was really nice becoming friends with the people uh the, the travelers uh, the listeners uh, and we all have one common bond the music that we all that we all kind of wait for and look forward to seeing and hearing it's true and I think the, it, it, all of the folks are so fascinating and interesting in their particular histories um, and what they're doing and where they are in life. A number of people are retired. Um, there were these young folks. Um, it's such an interesting mix. But again, this this common element of loving this music uh, in all of its forms and mm -hmm. wanting to know more about it and explore how it's evolved and impacted people around the globe. And in this instance, uh, in South Africa, I, I think it, it, it's a heady mix. You know, it's, it's the kind of thing I like because there's this stuff for the heart and the head. You know what I mean? You, you, right. you, you feel things, but there's also stuff for you to think about and ponder. Um, and everything's taken care of. Uh, the, the, our partners uh, in South African tourism and immersion journeys uh, have done just such Absolutely. a marvelous job of, you know, it's not easy to move a bunch of folks around. It is not, but it, it was done with just with ease. Oh. With oh, yeah. ease and a whole lot of fun. I mean, you know, yeah. Wayne is all, you know, the executive director, the lecturer, the producer, but he is a real funny cat. And I mean, you're brilliant, but you're also brilliantly funny. And so it, it was always a, a nice, you know, to see you in the mornings on our separate buses, you know, hey, how you doing? Uh, and hanging out and uh, oops, just chatting with you. Um, uh, we're talking did, about did our my parents. Did, have my parents sent you money from, from heaven for this? I gotta. I we gotta... show. <laughs> Maybe, maybe my parents sent you money from heaven. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna some money for that promo, my no, that's, that was the straight from the heart. <laughs> you know, I mean, we really have. I mean, it's a great it's, time. We really had a great time, and uh, and we will. We're gonna have a great time again. It's something I look forward to. I don't know how long they're gonna keep me around, you know, but uh, I, I, I'm I'm always up for this and look forward to it. And and we have these extra elements of music performances that we're putting right. together. We right. Got well, hold on. We got a special guest coming. We're talking about the South Africa, the WBGO South Africa trip uh, that's coming up February 15th through the 27th. The soul of South Africa, uh, music, heritage and wildlife in the Rainbow Nation. That's coming up and we want you to join us. And this time we have a special guest coming um, uh, to be a part of this. And I'll let you tell us who the special guest is because uh, I, you you love this person. I do too, but you really, this is your guy. I do. I do. I've followed him um, virtually his entire career. 
And I've, I followed him from afar for a long time. I don't have to go back and think about how old he was when we finally met. And it was just one of these things where it's like I had a colleague and started talking about her husband being a musician and what he played. And I said, wait, you, you're married to. And this cat is uh, one of the most important uh, musicians of his generation, mm -hmm. a thought leader, uh, what, five-time Grammy nominee, uh, one of the early folks who uh, sought to figure out the melding of jazz and hip-hop, figuring out how to swing in a hip-hop context, figuring out what the blues means in the 20th century and what it sounds like, and, and drawing upon this uh, experience, deeply, deeply rooted in Black music, um, but all musics really, um, what, 18 time mallet player of the year, yeah. uh, multiple time winner of downbeat read, reader and critics polls on vibraphone and or marimba, um, a Doris Duke award winner, which many people mm -hmm. consider to be a precursor to uh, uh, on, on par with the MacArthur Genius, Genius Award, mm -hmm. uh, former uh, Dean of Jazz at the Manhattan School of Music, now a tenured faculty member here at Rutgers Newark. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Stefan Harris. Stefan Harris. Our special guest. And so it's going to be a thrill to have yeah. this man uh, with us. Folks will get to interact with him. We've got some surprises in terms of some new music. Uh, that's going to be unveiled for us. I'm very special. With the twinkle in his eye. I, I don't know. know some of these surprises. No, we got to keep this, 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 this uh, you know, all kinds of limitations with record companies are always still working yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But these are very exclusive things that only people on the trip will get. In addition to performances um, in uh, South Africa with uh, some local musicians there, some folks we're pulling together in a variety of settings and some special interactions that uh, we're hoping he'll do with our you i don't think you've experienced him doing uh it's it's just it's yeah, great I mean, you're, you're a great musician yourself but some of the things he does ear training wise with chords and teaching them to non-musicians I, I find that musicians still like it too i think you i think you're oh, gonna no, i'm looking forward to uh, anything i can learn from a wonderful musician especially of the caliber of a musician like stefan harris i remember when he first came on the scene maybe i'm dating myself but he you know and here he still is doing all these wonderful things and he's going to be joining us on our 2024 trip to south africa i cannot believe we we are here already yeah. I know. Can you? Be, now, apparently, we still have some spaces open. I encourage folks. If I can we be do. real with you, I, I listen. I tell people all the time. You know, th this is not. Uh, friends have said, "Oh my God!" You know the cost, and I said, "I hear you. That's real." But when you look at what you get over ten days, including airfare, right? Everything that's packed into it, and this was before we have Stefan um, as our special guest artist. I, I, I'd recommend it in a second. To people you're not going to find a better value you're not going to be able to do you couldn't put this trip together on your own um for, for what it costs and so i encourage folks if you are at all interested if you're thinking about south africa if you've been thinking about doing this and you're a lover of this music you won't be disappointed you won't regret it this is the move to do and and again this added element of stefan mm -hmm. and you being on the trip i'm hoping oh, that yeah. you guys get into some sort of <laughs> oh absolutely i'm movie. already like <laughs> you know, this element of, you know, what could be, what could be possible. And you know what? My sister's coming on this trip too. So oh. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah. My sister, wow. she's really excited. Yeah. Really great. That's really great. <laughs> and we encourage you to come on this trip. It's very easy to find out more information about uh, the WBGO trip to South Africa. Go to WBGO.org slash South Africa. This is a, an emergence journey uh, collaboration and we, uh, we're, I'm very excited to work with them again. And also I can just say one of the highlights for, for me of, uh, of the trip was a safari at the Polanis Bird oh. Game Reserve. I don't think, I think you missed the, this last one. You had to leave, but it was, it was it, for me, you know, I'm a city girl to be out in the, this game reserve with animals just right there and just to be out there in, in the kind of nature and being, you know, in the motherland. It was just very, it was beautiful. And, you know, we oh, did, did a couple of safaris. 
it's a very deep trip. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to just stuff. Yeah, on. yeah, no, I, it was it's, it was it's, deep. it's a great experience. And and again, I'm not listen, I have been a couple of times, but I'm in no way jaded, believe me. Right, right. I'm able to miss certain aspects because see, I've been spoiled. You know, the yeah. one of the not the first time, but maybe the second or third time I went out, the guides give you the, you know, you it's good to go out and they what well, they go out at, at before you, dusk. You go and, out before the before dusk and before dawn. And before dawn, right? Yeah. So two separate times you go because you're gonna see different things. Mm -hmm. And one of the ones we, and again, this is maybe the second time I've been, I want to say, and, you know, the guys give you all the things, we may not see this, or you may not see this, but, you know, here are the big five animals you're looking for, and I'm telling you, Leslie, it was as if he had, was it he or she, it was as if she had set us up, because everything they wanted, yeah. to, we saw everything, they kept saying, I can't believe it, you guys, we I haven't seen a leopard in three months, and a leopard came up and walked right underneath. Oh, her. see, that's the element of surprise that I you love. You see, <laughs> and the leopard, by the way, was was tracking a, a, a small herd of antelope. I hadn't seen antelope before. I was blown away because it's teeny. You know, they look like. Wow. Wait, is that are they like? Is that a real animal? Are they like a little? I think of deer. You know, and moose or something. Right. It's extraordinary. I'd never been on a safari before until I went to South Africa. I was totally like just in awe. Just being first of all being yeah. out that early in the morning to see the sunrise <laughs> on the. Right. Out right. in the, the plains, uh, in the Netherlands, and you're that far. Yeah, it, that, you know, it, it was deep. It yeah, was, it feels it was it, very for deep. me. It always feels like, oh wait, I'm, I'm, I'm. This is some early human beginnings here, y'all. Like, like this is on on a on a human back in the day. Scale, it feels like, yeah, right. It's coming up like, mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so, very very special, and that is a wonderful element of it. And the 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 that particular game preserve is is it's it's special. It's special again. Also, that's part of the Johannesburg portion of the trip. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you're gonna get so much uh, such wine, a food, music, wow. safaris, Wayne. <laughs> more Wayne than you'd ever want more we, can't, we ever. cannot get enough and I'm so delighted to be joining you once again on the 2024 trip to South Africa we hope you can join us as well go to wbgo.org slash South Africa get in now there are only a few seats available and uh, you know Wayne and I've got two and there's a few more left for you to grab Wayne Winborn thank you very much <laughs> Leslie Harrison, always a pleasure. I'm so looking forward to this trip and hope yes. folks join us. It, it's going to be, it's all, it's memorable. It's always it's memorable. memorable. Yeah. And a lot of laughs too. A lot of laughs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.